Well, all of these are concrete ways to uh, create the seeds of the future in the present society. And that extends as was mentioned in the introduction, but to things like say the Columbia workers, a student, a student unionization program. How does that fit in? By breaking the conception, which is at the heart of the neoliberal assault, that we have to be alone, isolated, atomized, facing the uh, market ravages alone without defense. Notice that one of the first acts of Thatcher and Reagan, when the new liberal programs was instituted, first act was to attack unions, the means, the standard means of defense of working people against capitalist assault. So it's very important to break them, to break down the idea and the, that you can work cooperatively uh, to uh, produce conditions, proper conditions for your own future. You have to be isolated, atomized, separated from one another. Well, uh, unions in the past, can remember this from childhood in New York, were not just uh, organizations to protect wages. They were a way of life. Uh, unions involved cultural activities, educational activities. Uh, my own family mostly lived in New York, extended family, uh, unemployed first immigrant, first generation immigrants. Uh, my aunts were uh, unemployed seamstresses. They had a, quite a rich life through the union, Ilgu. International Ladies Garment Worker Union, which had cultural programs, educational programs, even a week up in the Catskills. It was a whole rich life. Now, that's what unions were in the past. One of their major principles was that ed education should be available to everyone throughout life. So ad adult education programs were core part of the uh, existing unions. Radical intellectuals often participated, uh, people like J.D. Bernal and others uh, in, uh, engaged in radical education programs. All of that has to be broken. It's necessary for people to be alone. It's been more effective in the United States than in other countries. I see it constantly, just in my own experience. So, I give a talk in uh, Australia, Canada, England, the uh, continent can often be at a union hall, not here, because they've been so successfully crushed and demolished that these things don't exist. Going back to the union efforts at Columbia, Starbucks and elsewhere begins to rebuild that kind of consciousness and leads to the uh, background from which constructive activities can be undertaken to build the kinds of society we should hope to have in which uh, those who produce are in control of their own production and their productive lives, make democratic decisions democratically as to how the enterprise should function work in conjunction with democratically run communities. Uh, they, of course, uh, uh, interact uh, uh, deeply, uh, deeply integrated with one another, same people, in fact, just in different functions in life. And out of that develop a cooperative society, democratically run, eliminating illegitimate hierarchies and domination, then we're on to uh, moving towards something that could be a, a realistic approach to utopia.